found out that people who go to uh, year-long programs about studying health and wellness, whether it is Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, yoga, come on in, yoga teacher training courses, or Qigong, or anything related with a structured education for a year related with health and wellness, their need to go to their primary care physician is reduced by about 29% for several years thereafter. And we are so happy and convinced with this concept that we are thinking that we will be paying their tuition for them to go and take these classes. Mm -hmm. Because we feel that something is affecting them and, and helping them so that they are taking better control of them. Their need for even filling up prescription is absent for next several years. Mm -hmm. I used to live in a place called Fairfield, Iowa. Have you heard of this place? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's Maharshi Center, uh, TM, TM people, and I was a professor at that university, Maharshi University of Management, and it's a, it's, a, it's a funny place. You should go and visit that, okay? It's in the middle of what we used to call it a Silicon Valley in Iowa. <laughs> it's not Silicon, but Silicon Valley, and <laughs> surrounded by all the farmers and everything. In the middle of it, it's a university where it's a total enlightened community. It's built according to Vedic principles. All the buildings, schools, colleges, homes, everything is built according to Vedic concept. There are huge domes where 5,000 people can meditate at one time, one for men, one for women. Everybody meditates every morning and evening, the whole town, 10,000 people, everybody meditates. About 90% of those people are all vegetarian, they do yoga every day. They have a school where, a public school, where people, uh, kids, from preschool to high school. They start every morning meditation, they finish the classes with meditation. They do sun salutations every day before the classes begin. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a 100% organic vegetarian um, cafe for, for all the students and for all the college, everything like that. It's a, it's a pilgrim place. Anybody in uh, yoga and Ayurveda should go and visit that place. So the Blue Cross and Blue Shield in Iowa, they said even if you have the zip code of 52556 living in Fairfield, you will be paying about 10 to 15 percent less premium because they know these are all weird people. They don't need to go to doctor at all. And so we are, we are coming to a stage where it is being recognized that your health cannot be outsourced to someone else who is going to take care of you only when you are sick. Point number one, isn't it? Point number two is your health is your own domain and nobody else can do that for you because you are the only one who knows how do you feel about it, okay? Uh, you would love to be here and someone is complaining, oh, these chairs are too hard. I can't sit on this for the whole day, okay? So it's the way of you are experiencing whatever is going on. So it's only you who can feel it and it's only you who can change your attitude to look at a situation no one else. And you don't have to really go to a counselor or a psychologist or a psychiatrist to, to fix you. But you should be able to correct it yourself. So when I say your health is your own domain, we, we toyed with this idea not long ago, isn't it? That let's vaccinate everyone, get, give everyone immunizations for as soon as the child is born, maybe 10, 15 vaccines everybody gets and no diseases at all. Are we there yet? No. We have actually created more diseases because of that at times. And it is, it is a very half hazardous feeling that our health is a federal responsibility. Our health is an individual responsibility. Who provides the tools to understand your own health? And who should be providing you the right kind of tools? How to be healthy? Who teaches that? Nature. Nature? And when do you connect with nature? Daily basis. On a daily basis, I was, <laughs> the funny story, I was living in Iowa, uh, in uh, Hawaii, and uh, I used to have uh, this school called as Aloha Ayurveda Academy, and one time I asked my students to, to write an essay about, imagine for next six months to a year, mm -hmm. not a single ship or a plane or anything came to the island at all, nothing. And uh, they wrote some wonderful things, which was pretty scary at times, because there won't be any gasoline, there won't be any electricity, no diesel, 
okay so the whole island will have complete no electricity at all there won't be any cell phones there won't be any computers <clears throat> the day will start with dawn and will end at dusk there won't be any of your fancy BMWs and Lexuses, they'll be stuck by the roadside because no juice in them to run. You'll be taking journeys on bullock carts and horses and things like that. You'll be going back to, to your uh, papaya tree in the backyard to give you food. You'll be respecting the neighbor's chickens a whole lot because <laughs> you can exchange some eggs. You won't be judging people on their designer clothes, but you will be going back to your hula skirts and those kind of things. You will be, a bunch of people will die because there won't be any medications. All the supermarkets will be completely empty because there's nothing to sell anywhere, okay? You will be, you will be respecting trees and plants and herbs and fruits all over again because that's the only way that you will survive. You'll be growing your own food. The whole artificial nature of our lifestyle will just vanish like that. You won't be looking at your weather channel to understand how high the surf is going to be because you will be looking at sun, moon and stars. You will be respecting those forces of nature a whole lot. You will be going back to stone age. You will be having that aloha spirit all over again because we have created a life which is disconnected from nature. You go to supermarket and what we are selling there, it is criminal. Okay? It is not even close to the nature itself. You are, you are looking at Pringles and calling it as potato chips. It is absurd. Okay? It's not even potato. It is so far away from the nature itself that about 60, 70, 80 percent of our food is unnatural. And you are trying to 100 percent natural body is being nourished on unnatural foods. What else are you going to get out of it? You should be eating foods which should not have any nutritional labels on it. <laughs>